Hey there, everyone. I hope you're all doing good. Today we are going to talk about the 245T and 257T by Tiptop Audio and Bukla. So, there's been quite a few videos already about those two with lots of great tips and tricks, but there's still some left that I want to show you. First, one of the difference between those two and the Bukla word is that we can use this for audio. And one thing I like to do with this is to crossfade between two oscillators. Yeah, we can mix them. We can actually use this as a simple mixer. Like if we, we can also use this guy as an oscillator. Let's make this super fast and use one of these output. Let's make it shorter by sending one of the pulse out to the reset input. And here we can draw a wave. This is three step, three stages that you can draw with the voltage. And here we can have So here you can have the wave we made from the sequencer, the 245T, and the two waves from the oscillator. And you can crossfade between those two while the other one is droning. Now let's add some control voltage to the crossfade. Which is very cool to make some weird drones. The offset can be fun used with audio because it will clip the waveforms. You will lose some information. Yeah, if you add some more gain after, you can create some interesting distortions and overtones. This is a kind of a classic one, so let's start with one oscillator in a low-pass gate into our mixer. I'm going to start a little sequence with the 245T and I'm going to melt that pulser to trigger input here okay, we have our classic Bukla bongo thing let's go with some FM from the second oscillator of the 258 on the first one that we are listening. So one thing is that those envelopes are linear. In order to see that, we are going to take this output to the scope. Okay, you can see here it's linear. Thanks to the 257T, we can send a copy of our function, and the output of our function, and invert it. And if we send this back into the control input of the decay, or attack, we can make exponential shape. If we don't go to the inverter here, you will end up having a logarithmic shape.
the other cool thing is that as this guy can be used as a VCA, if you use the center here, the crossfader part, if you plug something into the MVC input, which is on the right side of the crossfader, you get silence or nothing on the left side of the crossfader. So when you go from one to the other, you basically have a VCA. So here you have linear, and the more we go here, exponential. Which also means we can use control voltage. Go in between this, so we can choose how snappy or exponential the curve of each step is with the sequencer. It's not drastically easy to spot on a low pass gate. Well, let's try to use it on a VCA here instead. Now we can clearly feel the difference between the two. This can of course be done with the attack as well. Typical Bukla. One of the other thing I wanted to show is that, for example, I could use a saw wave from this guy to the pass gate just for the filter part. There we go. Do the same thing, send this here in the second input of the cross fader. Control voltage to this. This is just our filter and this is doing the VCA. Which means you can use, for example, the other one as a VCA as well for FM. So first we plug it to the second input, the right input of the crossfader. Let's control the crossfader with one row of the 245 and then send it back to the FM input. And now we could use the bottom function of the 21 at audio rate as an FM source and we will plug it to the left side of the crossfader so it will alternate between two different FM source for our oscillator. Cool. Let's add a bit more control. Uh, one other thing I wanted to show is that if you don't have the 21 but this guy, but you have this one, and you want to do an envelope generator, bit of the same trick than before. As the ref output is a saw wave, it can be used as a DK only envelope generator matched to the tempo of this guy. Did you know you can also invert it directly from here? If you plug the ref back here, into the speed control input, you can change its speed and curve at the same time. So you can have an exponential envelope or logarithmic if you use the control on the other side that is still tied to the speed of the sequencer, but at least you have control over the shape but you could patch this in the middle to make it controllable. As this one can be used as VCA, I can show you the little trick to use it as a ring modulator. 
when I unpatch, I will explain to you what is a ring modulator, or mostly what it does. A ring modulator is a VCA that accepts negative voltages. And when these negative voltages are applied as controls, it will reverse the waveform. So this is not per se a ring modulator. But if we plug this saw wave here. Plug back the audio. You see the saw wave in the scope. If I first plug it here, we can decide of its polarity. So if I invert it, send the normal one to here, to this output, we have the same thing. But now we can take this one, the inverted copy, and send it here. And so we can change the polarity with the crossfader. As this is voltage controlled, we can create a remod. Let's just have fun do a super weird feedback patch. I'm using the second VCO of the 258, the one that's been, that we use as modulator in the rig mod, to the analog input of the 245, back into the FM input of the same oscillator, and to the one volt per octave of the other one with second row. Let's add the pulser into the game. Now every slight touch to anything will create a new sound. <laughs> okay, one of the other patch I wanted to show you is this fake sidechain patch. So let me just make a simple kick drum. Cool, that's a kick drum. So if I want to make a sort of a sidechain thing with the other oscillator, I will send this one to, uh, let's say, the other low pass gate. I take the output of this one. To another channel of the mixer. What I want now is that either this envelope or another envelope will remove the volume when the kick is playing. So if we simply molt that envelope to the other channel, they will both do the same thing. It's not what we want. We will send that copy to this channel, this input of the 257. Look this here. Let's open it at max. 
with the offset. And now we are, I'm trying to remove voltages from it, but I guess it's so short. So by inverting it, that's what I have here, but so short that it's not noticeable. So what we're going to do is to create our own sidechain envelope because we don't have envelope follower which is which will be the typical module to use here. So let's instead create another envelope. offset to max out the thing and then you remove stuff from it. You take your control here and invert it and then offset it again. And you have that sidechain thing. If we were using the same envelope, just let's do that again. This will be called a voltage mirror. One is active while the other one is not. You can do all sorts of fun things with this. Okay, let's go for a last one that became possible thanks to the 257T here. And this is the um, fake delay to ping pong patch. So we need just, let's go for very simple sine wave oscillator. Into the pass gate. Let's go with some FM. I will use a sequencer for this one. So let's pulse very slowly this one. We will start by sending the pulse to an envelope generator, which will be sent to control the low pass gate. Just for some animation, let's patch. That's good. So now, if we cycle this, you can notice that it will re-trigger when it receives the gate from the pulse. So, in order to make the fake delay patch, we need two envelopes. Let's, for example, use the ref. This one will do. The amplitude. And we'll send this one, the short repeating one, here. We will invert it. Like this. This is the ref. Only the ref. And now I'm removing this from the ref, which gives us that sort of delay type of things. As it's removed, because if you don't invert it, it will keep rattling even when it should be silent. Let's use this one for FM. doesn't have that slew thing. As I was saying, we are using inversion. 
if we want a delay, passive delay, we have to invert the control, attack and decay. I always love this patch. The curve of the main envelope is important. Let's use our tricks that I showed you already here to make the ref exponential. There's other way to do this patch as well, but let's skip this one for now. And to make, make it a ping pong style patch, we need another one. We could actually just build this one, but we have to use another one. This is going to control the timing of the first one. much so if you don't want if it's too much you can use this one as an attenuator this way, you can straight away decide or in which way you are modulating. Up to you. And then you can always add the offset. Okay, that's all for today. Many thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed those patches. I will put some of those sound on my Patreon. Uh, as always, it's a good thing if you, for me, I mean, it's a good thing if you like, subscribe, leave a comment, and go support on Patreon to help me keep doing those kind of tutorials and videos. Many thanks to everyone who's already supporting me there. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Thanks again. See you next time.